Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, I do upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday. I hope you will subscribe and stick around so you don't miss out on those. Okay, so today is another style reboot. It's up to number five, I believe. And what I wanna talk about today are tricks, styling tricks to make you look slimmer. And these are tricks that obviously are not magically taking pounds off of your body, but they create the illusion that you've lost 10 pounds or that you're much slimmer than you are. And um, it's also referred to sometimes as thinner by dinner. And I love these tricks. I use them all the time. And after I had both kids, I used them immediately following um, the the births and people would say to me how did you lose the weight so quickly and how come you're slim you know so slim so fast and i would just say well i know all the tricks to look slimmer so it really can work and it really can trick the eye if you use them properly and you actually use them and some of these you're going to be like eh, i've heard this before tell me something i don't know um, hello, Captain Obvious, whatever the case may be, but I think it's one of those things that it needs to be repeated. And sometimes you don't hear things until you've heard them the 10th time or the 20th time um, before it actually starts sinking in. So here's hoping that these things will stick in and will resonate with you and will be helpful to you in some way and looking thinner by dinner, looking your most slim self. So the first trick is definitely something that I would recommend anyway, regardless, and that's to make sure that your, um, your bra is fitting well and it's actually lifting up your girls. Because if they're not, if they're, if they're down low, a little too low, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, then you're going to look a lot less thin and a lot older. It's going to make you look older. It's also going to make you look bigger and heavier. And you know, when you're big, your, your breasts are bigger then you do look, you tend to look a little heavier if you don't dress appropriately. So you have to make sure that you have a great supportive uplifting bra. If you're not sure, you know, am I the same size I used to be? If you haven't had a bra fitting in a while, go into a department store. Ask to see a bra fit specialist. Most major department stores have one. Have them fit you and then see if, you know, what your size actually is. A really good friend of mine recently said that she was a, a much more dramatically bigger size than what she thought she was and was pretty surprised by the bra fitting. So it's just a good thing to do. Go in and get your, your sizing uh, a fitting done. Make sure that your bras are supportive, they're lifting, and they fit well. That's number one. Number two, to look thinner by dinner shapewear, it's one of those, okay, you know, no poop, Sherlock, whatever. It's just, it's an extra little step, it's an extra thing, but it could definitely make you look a lot slimmer and thinner, especially under a more fitted dress or a more fitted silhouette, just to smooth everything out and make sure you don't have any of those lumps and bumps that we tend to have. So um, definitely get yourself some great shapewear. Well, I have three kinds, but I really love the shapewear slips, the ones that are like skirts. I don't really love the boy shorts. I used to wear them all the time and then I was like, I don't really like these, they're, they're not comfortable. I don't wanna wear this. So I actually prefer the skirt, the skirt slip. And I feel like the skirt for me just sucks everything in a little bit tighter and a little bit better. Um, I also like the high rise briefs. And that was especially helpful after having kids. It really sucked in that tummy area and made your waist look two to three inches smaller. So that's a big, big deal, especially postpartum. So I would recommend those high-waisted briefs very highly. And they also work well, you know, if you've had a C-section to really to keep that skin close so that it does have a better chance of healing and, and snapping back, if you will. The rise of your jean is also important, especially if you have any extra weight around the tummy area. So let's say you're prone to having a muffin top where ex either excess skin or fat hangs over your, the top of your jeans, then you need to be wearing high rise jeans. It's a game changer. If you aren't already wearing them, you need to get them immediately. That will trim inches off. That will get rid of that muffin top. And when you have the muffin top and you wear a top over it, oftentimes you can see that bump on the side. So when you wear that high rise jean, it just sucks all that skin in or sucks all that extra fat in. And um, it just makes you look slimmer and smoother all over. So high rise jeans are, are a great, great trick. So while after my C-section, what I would do is I would do the high rise briefs and the high rise jeans and it would look like I had no tummy at all. Like you just double down 
<laughs> and you look a lot slimmer. Um, another one that is very important to remember is just monochromatic dressing and whether that's an all black or all nude, like I wore an all nude look recently. You can do it with any color that you want, but just from head to toe, one color. That's gonna make you look longer, taller, and slimmer. And I think that's one of those underutilized tricks that we have. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like all black. You can do a black turtleneck and a dark blue jean. It's the same idea of that monochromatic dressing that makes you look slimmer and taller and longer. Um, jewelry can be strategic and helping you look slimmer. So when you think about your jewelry placement, put it in places where you feel like you want the eye to go because jewelry is eye catching. So if you want the eye to go here to your chest, then you put a really beautiful statement necklace here. If you want the eyes to go to your hands, then you wear jewelry on your hands. If you want the eyes to come here to your face, at your ears, then wear some great statement earrings. Um, just think about where you want the eye to go and then place that jewelry. And then also you can wear a long, pendant necklace or long layered necklaces, and those will elongate the upper body. And that's another little trick that people like to employ. It is problematic if you have large breasts, you may not be able to do that long layered look or that long pendant necklace. But for the rest of you, if you wanna make your um, torso, your upper body look longer, that is a surefire way to do it. Um, and it's a very simple way to do it. Along the same lines of the monochromatic dressing are dark jeans. And I have said this over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> you guys are probably like, I'm sick of hearing about those dark wash jeans. Well, there's a reason why I bring them up a lot and that is because they work. They make you look slimmer. They make you look taller. They make you look longer. They make you look a little dressier, a little more sophisticated. So it's just a must have. So the dark wash jean versus the light wash jean. So if you compare like the 80s style kind of light blue jean to the dark wash jean, there is no comparison. The dark wash jean clearly in this picture, you can see it makes me look longer and taller and slimmer versus the light wash um, jean. Now, does that mean you can't wear light wash jeans? Absolutely not. You can wear your light wash jeans. These are simply tricks to make you look as slim as possible, the thinner by dinner that I talked about in the beginning. So um, just something to consider. Another thing that you can think about is wearing smaller scale prints versus larger scale prints and be really careful with the print placement and I will talk more about this in upcoming style re reboots like where to put your prints but you have to be um, if you want to look slim slimmer don't wear big oversized prints because that will make you look larger all over if you wear smaller scale prints like little itty bitty polka dots or little hearts or little birds or whatever that's going to make you look slimmer than the larger scale prints which can have the opposite effect of making you look larger so something um, just to have in the back of your mind. And then also wide leg pants, long wide leg pants or flare jeans um, or any kind of wide leg trouser pant jean is really gonna make you look slimmer and longer and taller. So I'm petite, I'm 5'4", whenever I wanna look really tall, I always pull out a pair of exaggerated wide leg pants and I wear the highest wedge I can possibly wear that's still comfortable. And my legs, all of a sudden, they look like they're six inches longer and you know I'm going from 5'4 to 5'10. 5'10? No, <laughs> did I say six? Yeah, because four plus six is 10. Um, yeah, so that's a huge difference. And you can hide the heel underneath those pants, and that's kind of why I love to wear those wide leg pants. You may have seen them a bunch on the blog. I've worn the red pants, I've worn the white pants. I love the wide leg trouser. It does make you look slimmer, and it does make you look taller. I would be thinking about your fabric choices. So if you wear a really thin, paper thin jersey, um, that can be really unforgiving. It can show everything. So a structured fabric, something with a little heft to it, like a denim, or a neoprene is gonna be a bit more forgiving with the lumps and bumps. So just be aware of that. I would also think about highlighting the tiniest part of your body, and we'll get more into this when I talk about body types, but essentially if you, want, you have a teeny tiny waist, do something to highlight that waist, whether it's a waist belt, a design detail, a color block panel, something that will highlight that waist. And then let's say you're, um, 
your tiniest part is right under your bust. You could wear a necklace to the under bust. You can do a design, design detail under the bust, um, some ruching under the bust, whatever's gonna highlight that tiny part of your body. Um, you should be thinking about that. Again, we're gonna go more into depth on that when, we, when I talk about body types. A shoe color that matches your skin tone is definitely elongating and will make you look slimmer. So let's say you're wearing a black dress or you're wearing um, a floral print dress and you want your legs to look longer and your body to overall look slimmer, I would wear a nude shoe. And for me, a nude is almost like a pale white or an off-white. For you, it may be a deep cognac. I don't know what the color of your skin is, but whatever the color of your skin is, you should have a go-to pair of shoes for the summer season and, and, and for both seasons, really, that you can turn to to make your legs look longer and for you to look just overall slimmer and taller. Something you might wanna avoid are the bulky, bulky fabrics. Again, I, I talked about large scale prints being something you wanna kind of steer clear of, but you know, like heavy velvet. Velvet's really in right now and it's great, but just be aware that that's gonna make you look overall a little bit bigger. Brocades can do that as well. So can Angora, fuzzy, you know, mohair sweaters or um, leather and suede can also make you look bulkier and heavier. So just something to think about. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is the fake tan, the power of the fake tan. Um, I'm kinda too lazy to do this, but if you have the um, wherewithal and the patience and wanna do that, it's a great way to make your legs look slimmer. If you have a special occasion you wanna go to, you can actually make your muscles look more defined. Um, remember the Britney Spears fake six pack? From the, uh, from the Grammys, like you can do that with a fake tan. So just something, um, again, just another tool to have in your toolbox. So those are the things that can make you look thinner by dinner and make you look slimmer and taller and longer. I hope that was helpful you, to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget about the blog, busbystyle.com because I do have different content over on the blog. And thank you again so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.